If you know you might have to come back to a document, you can just pin it. And it'll stay there until you unpin it. Hi, I'm Alex with the Windows Report, and in this video we'll show you 5 productivity tips that will get you out of trouble and make it easier than ever to get things done in Microsoft Word. Number 1 is text-to-speech, which is a great tool to use whenever you want to check text for errors that you might not notice unless the text is read aloud. For example, out of the three sentences that will be read, only the last two are correct. And although Microsoft Word won't flag it, the error will be obvious once the text is read aloud. Open the document that you want Word to read aloud. Then go to Review. Now, click the beginning of the sentence or the paragraph from which you want MS Word to start reading. Now, go back to the toolbar and choose Read Aloud. And that's it. We went to the house which collapsed yesterday. We went to the house which collapsed yesterday. We went to the house that collapsed yesterday. Our second tip for improved productivity in Microsoft Word is pinning documents. Let's say that you're looking for a specific document that you've worked on a few days ago. But that document was just one of the 10, 20, or 50 documents you've edited since then. If you know you might have to come back to a document, you can just pin it. And it'll stay there until you unpin it. Simply go to File, Open. Here you'll see a list of documents divided into sections. At the top we have the Pin section. Right now we don't have any pinned documents. But let's say that I have people that keep asking me about Chrome flags. Which, by the way, if you're interested, you can learn about by watching the video linked in the upper right corner. So, I just pin the file and it will move up to the Pin section. Now, whenever I get a question about Chrome flags, I don't need to go and search for it, since it's already up here. When you no longer need the file, you can just click the pin again to unpin it. The third tip for increased productivity is open and repair. This is pretty useful for those situations when you receive a damaged Word file. Luckily, Microsoft has you covered. Go to File, Open, and then Browse. Now you can select the file in question, but instead of clicking the Open button, we click the tiny triangle and in the drop-down menu we select Open and Repair. Simple and effective. The fourth tip is change default font. Let's say that you work for a company that only uses Montserrat. Instead of changing the font every single time that you have to write a Word document, you can just go to the font group in the Home tab and click on the bottom right arrow. In the pop-up window that comes up, you can choose the font that you want to use, in our case, Montserrat, and then click the Set as Default button. In the dialog box that ensues, you should choose All Documents Based on the Normal Template, and then click the OK button. And that's it! For our fifth and final tip, we have Mixed Orientation, which is to say, mixing portrait and landscape pages in the same document. This is great if you want to insert a table in your Microsoft Word document. Simply go to the page that you want to modify. In our case, it would be the page that includes our chart. Now, click anywhere on the page, then go to the Layout tab. And under Orientation, select Landscape. Once the layout is changed to Landscape, we can stretch the chart so that it takes up the whole page. And that's how you change the orientation of independent pages in Microsoft Word. Ok, so these are the 5 tips that we think will bring the most benefits to Microsoft Word users. I'm sure there are others, and if you know any simple and easily explainable ones, feel free to share them in the comment section. And remember that you can always browse windowsreport.com for in-depth guides, fixes, and tips for an error-free tech life. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more relevant tech videos. See you in the comments!